What are you working on? We're in one of our favorite spots. Ruyosh. Angles, angles, I gotta remember angles. <laughs> that is my wife. Alright guys, I'm editing um, this vlog, this very, very first one. Look, I'm still doing it. Um, I am looking at the monitor of my camera instead of the lens most of the time because I'm self-conscious and it's hard to look at a lens when you can rather, like, you'd rather look at yourself and make sure you don't look like an idiot. So, um, don't mind me. I'm sure that at some point I won't do that anymore, but... That's just what it's going to be. <laughs> I always get it. It's not just... for it, but... So, we're starting this new thing right now. We've decided to get into vlogging. And we're just trying to figure it out. It's kind of hard. <laughs> yeah, it's really awkward to talk to a camera when there's like people around. And I'm sure every person on YouTube can relate to this, but... It's like, for fun. it's like we usually have really in-depth discussions and it's amazing what we can talk about but suddenly we don't know what to talk about at all and so... So we're headed downtown, we're in downtown Cannes right now. We're going to Crystal Cafe where we haven't been in a while because I wanted a salad and there's a goat cheese one that I like that we know is there. Hopefully it's still there. So that's where we're going. ago that we're just going to stop working at the house or at least we're just trying to get out as much as possible. Working at the house is the worst. No motivation, no inspiration. This just doesn't work for us. So instead we started going to places at the Starbucks where we can just pay a little drink and have free Wi-Fi or we just take our little router we have here with so the bigger bite to use. The last project that we have is transferring every single post that we have from Instagram on the Croissants and Kisses page to Pinterest. It's very easy, it's just a lot of work since that girl over here is doing an amazing job of posting several times a day. So it's doing too much to keep up with Yeah. Pinterest. But Pinterest, if you don't use Pinterest, you're missing out because it's basically just a searchable platform. And it's really different to kids. up to some influencer accounts. Nice. Uh, Any progress? We're going to need some more exposure. Vlog. If all of you don't check out my blog, you should. You're missing out. I have like a micro following because mostly people just like my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of good stuff on there. Favorite spots? Ruyosh. Uh, Vincent's, Vincent's work is right behind me over there. The right hotel. There the yeah. So now we're just gonna walk around and take pictures and hang out a little bit. Well, it's not raining. There's a break from the rain at the moment. Vincent's gonna sell his bike because he bought the cheapest bike in the world and it's broken already because he's a 200 pound man. <laughs> right, Vince? Take a picture down there. The scenery is great. There's a lot of greenery. So I'm just gonna try to try to sneak a picture before there's a bus or something. All the cars don't stop and they're supposed to stop. Yeah. Pretty annoying. No, we're walking past the place with the amazing drink. <laughs> this is really dangerous. We're Careful. both so hungry. That's not cold. But you said you've been there for a long time. 
I'm just gonna stop by the beach for a minute. I'm not wearing a swimsuit, but I just really like standing there. Project of 50 euros a week for, for groceries and, and then we started making more. Yep. So now we have more money to play with. And on top of that, but last week we did so good with groceries that we only spent 14 euros. So well not so good, we just only planned like we actually only planned. So usually what I was doing like all winter long when we were home all day, I would plan like five meals a day. And um, we'd eat those five meals at home and I'd cook every night, which was great. But now the weather's nice, we're doing more collabs, we're like really kicking things into high gear, so we're working a ton. We don't want to work at home because it's depressing. So now we um, we just end up being out more and it makes us want to eat out more. So I just we decided to only like plan two meals of cooking this week, which we've done. Our fridge is like empty, we're going grocery <laughs> shopping tomorrow. So the thought of eating at home just kind of sucks. <laughs> We would like much rather just eat out for lunch and then maybe eat at home for dinner or something. It's kind of the trade-off. It's like, yeah, we can spend $50 a week and eat at home every meal of the whole week, or you can spend 14 euros on food and end up eating out and spending like 75 bucks total. I'm okay with that. What can you do? I'm kind of okay with it too because that means more hamburgers and delicious salads and things. I won't say no to that. I also, I'm kind of feeling a little bit, like, a little bit sad about, like, the fact that we're leaving soon, and I feel like I don't want to waste the time that we still have here for the rest of the summer. Because once we're back in the States, healthy food is a lot more expensive in the States, and we're just not going to have the same quality of food that we can afford all the time for eating out. So I kind of feel like I want to take advantage of it, too, while we still can. Mamma mia! <laughs> Bellissimo!